Hello, hello? Hi, Rose, everyone. I'm just coming on. We are Talk Live. I thought I would come on and make some, um, what do you call them? Irish trading cards. Who have we got? Who have we got? Who have we got? Who have we got? Do, 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 do. Hope you can hear me. Oh, hi, Sadie. Hi, Trisha. Sadie, how have you been getting on with your trimmer, lovely? Good, I imagine. You feel good? good? Mm. Right, I just need to get organised. I'm going to use um, Zini Zoo. Zini Zoo stamp set and the Zini Zoo papers to make these little artist trading cards. Hi, Elizabeth. Long time no speak, honey. How are you? I hope you're good. Right, so normally in a pack of DSP, you get... Um, 12 by 12 sheet in the back of it and what i do is i just cut it up into two and a half by three and a half um sections to make little artist trading card saves cutting up gray board and stuff like that and it's, it's good for recycling um hi yvonne how are you I feel like i've not seen you in ages right so what's the little scrap bits here so obviously these bits I'm going to cut out some little critters. So I'm not going to actually do any stamping other than the sentiments. No, oh, all of these ones are little critters. Hi Beverly, how are you? Hi Claire, hi Ruth. Hope you're all well. Oh look how cute these are. Oh, I don't want to cut in the back of them. I don't want to cut them up. Right, this one seems to have the least amount of critters on it creatures, zany zoos. Um, so I think I'll cut this one up. Um, I'm only going to need um, maybe a quarter of a sheet. So as you know, the artist trading cards are two and a half by three and a half. Now, a lot of people do a certain kind of like indexing on the back to see what, what um, set of cards it is, the, the number, when it was made, but I don't do that. I just like to decorate the front. But if you look up proper artist trading cards, um, you do actually have um, bits on the back. So I'm just going to cut one little strip at three and a half, and I'm going to cut one, two, three at two and a half. Then I'm just going to do it slightly over in case I have miss um oops in case my little backing bits are slightly shorter than they're supposed to be so we just need three so the swap is to do three artist trading cards <laughs> look at this guy oh it's so fun so much fun so it's just really easy really really easy hi Anne, how are you right i'm going to turn my fan off because it's distracting and apologies if you can hear the washing machine in the background as well. I'm having to re-rinse uh, a washing that's been sitting in the machine all day. Do, 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 do. Oh, look at the little beaver. Sorry, Mr. Beaver. But you're being covered up today. So all I'm going to do is cover up like so. Line it all up, and if there's any overhang, you could obviously just cut that off later. Oh, the wee turtle now that's getting cut up. It's absolutely fine. And you can tart these up as much as you want, or you can keep them more simple. What we'll do is I'll grab the big pile that I've already made, already made in the past, and I'll bring them over and I'll let you see them. Basically, it's just like designing a card, but it's on a smaller scale. Um, if that helps. And it's just about having fun. So, let's see now. We can... Let me see, where was the other scrap bits? So, see like this bit. This could be popped on here. Let me get my circle punches. Do some more. It's really, really easy. Uh, what other backings do we have? Right, let me see. I'm going to try and punch out 
I'm going to punch out here because it's part images anyway. So I think I'll go with the... Hi Val, how are you? I think I'll go with the circle theme with the little critters on the back. I keep calling them critters, but they're not. They're zoo animals. And the sheets in here represent certain things. So here's like your um, dance theme. Here is your outdoor adventures. We've got um, hobbies, meditation, baking, uh, knitting, crocheting, art. It's really nice. We've got your kind of birthday. And we've got your other kind of like general, general little uh, designs. So... Um, yeah, it's really, really fun. Right, okay, so what do I need? I need another black circle. So, let me see. Right, I'm going to go with this up here. Because this is part. Oh, and it's just enough. Brilliant. Just enough. Now it was okay because this wee guy I can um I'll just cut round closer to the border when I come to cutting him out. Do, 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 do. I'm just making sure I can see everybody's comments. Fabulous. Okay. You can hear my work phone going off, but I'm finished. Well what what um later yesterday. It's like oh my goodness. Right, okay. To add a little bit of uh, texture, should I use a two inch punch with white, basic white? We shall see. I could always do one like that. Right, let me see now. Hmm. I'll do it on that one. Right, I'm going to have that one a little bit different. Okay, if anybody has little circle punches or dies, um, we can layer up little circles and what have you around the, the creatures. I'll do that. But let me let me take out my one inch punch and my half an inch punch. These are retired, but some of you might actually have them in your stash. Ah, best off. Oh. So I'm supposed to be off tomorrow and Friday, but I'm, I've cancelled my day off work tomorrow so I can go in and catch up with my boss. He wasn't in today. So um, I am off Friday and then the whole of next week. Right, okay. So let's cut out some of these. I've not actually cut out any of these ones yet. Um, if you want to do it for quickness, you can simply punch it out. But I'm going to fussy cut. Um, it's just a shame his little head's off. So, decide on your little creatures, little animals that you want. Um, I think I'll go with the one that's reading. The bear. It's gorgeous. And then we could always stamp a sentiment or um, add some words, etc. in the coordinating colours. And uh, da -da 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 -da. what else now? I think I'll do. I think I'll do this. I don't know what that is. What is that called? That animal? Oh, it's on the tip of my tongue, but I can't think. We'll do that one. And I think we should we do a little frog or should we do a tiger? You know what, I think I'll keep it with the theme of the kind of pastel colours. So I will do the little sheep. Little ballerina sheep. Warthog, thank you. Oops, that was a bit close to the screen there. Warthog. Oh, so I tell you what are you all watching on Netflix? I watched it, Manifest, Series 1 to 4 and oh, it's amazing. Not usually into kind of far-fetched, made-up kind of storylines, but it was really good. It was really good. And it had a little bit element of Noah's Ark in it um, and things like that. So, yeah, it was quite interesting. Lincoln Lawyer, season two is out. I'm so tempted to start watching it, but I need to hold off so me and my husband can watch it together. 
because we're terrible for just bashing on and watching different series. Um, so yeah. Well, have you just finished that one, Beverly? It's good, eh? Is there any other ones you could recommend? I started watching a film called Outlaws, but it was a bit cheesy for me. You know, it was a comedy, but it's a bit far-fetched, like OTT. Total rubbish act, and I thought, oh, no. Nah. Right, okay. Come on, Mr. Warthog, or Mrs. Warthog, with a banjo. So this is good for uh, someone that maybe likes music, for their uh, birthday card or what have you. Um, hi, Janet, nice to have you here. Warthog, Warthog. Do, do, do. I'm going to go right in here. My little nails are doing alright as well. Not much regrowth yet, so... Get another few weeks out of them. Before I have to go and um, get them redone. Look. Oh, that's nice. I'll give you a wee close-up of the ballerina. Beautiful. Sorry, that's a bit close, isn't it? Oh, sorry. <laughs> it's a bit out of line as well. <laughs> oh, dear. I need to put my chair up so I can actually see. Um, when I put my hands like that, I can see in my phone, so. No, it's pool party. So let me get some pool party paper. Wow, I've got lots of this. So I will only need a little bit. So see how I keep all my scraps in the back. It's really good. So a little bit of that. And it's petal pink, the other colour. I know that because that one I do recognise. So some petal pink. I love it. Now, let me see. I think what I'll do is I'll go and grab my petal pink. Um, oh, brilliant, Beverly, lovely honey. I'll go and get my petal pink blend and I'm going to fill in that little flimmer. Excuse me, Mellow Pops. With this petal pink. Yeah. So this is light petal pink. So I'll just add a little bit of colour and also give her a little pink cheek because I think that's just cute on these wee critters. You can add colour to these as well, uh, I colour them as you, as you um, see fit. Um, so this one needs some pool party colour added. Don't forget pool party. Sorry dog, I'm tripping over you. Pool party, pool party, oh that's Barney Bailey. This pool party, yep, got pool party here. Right, so I think I will just add pool party to the actual string section, like that. There we go. Now they're all, all have the same coordinating colours. Right. Do, 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 do. Let's do this. Linda's saying Zany Zoo is so cute. It is just beautiful. Okay, what I'm going to do, I'm going to punch some half circles, full circles, and then we'll just add some layers and little extra bits. Oops. Let's get the little half one. And you can go even smaller if you've got a hole punch as well. This is really good for using up scraps. Oh, da, 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 da. Okay, there's some pink. I'm just making this up as I go, you know. Hi, Tammy, my lovely. So, really good for using up those little straggly bits of card. Okay, I need some white now. If you don't have the coloured card, or you're you're missing one of them, um. You could always colour some white paper with your stamping blends or your stamping right markers. Um, right, so fabulous. There we go. Okay, now I think what I'll do is I'll use my pre 
stamped and embossed sentiments for for these, I think. Um, we shall see. Right, okay, so let me just attach. The look, still have these punches, use them often. It's, they're great and they're the best investment you can add to your craft stash, aren't they? Definitely. Right. Come on, up you come. I'm just going to glue all these down. The same if you don't have, if you maybe have white twine and you don't have the same um, a colour that you need, you can colour your white twine with your stamping blades or stamping right markers as well. But do it on a surface that you can then wipe because it does get a bit messy. Just because it's such a small thing for colouring in. Ta-da! Right, so we are going to pop this on. I'll pop it on in the centre. My mind's telling me to keep it all nice. <laughs> right, now we're going to put the little creatures on. I'll keep calling them creatures. Oh, you know what I mean. These fabulous little animals. Now, because I'm going to add some circle punched sections, I'm, I'm only going to put one dimensional on, which is plenty anyway. Maybe two on this one because he's a bit bigger. And then I could always tuck bits in. These are really easy. And Tammy, who's on my team, is um, really good at doing artist trading cards. I think I'll put him centre. And then this guy, I think I'll sit to the left side. I really like that. I really like him. Da -ba -da -ba -ba. So two in the middle. Can you hear my, mo my washing machine in the background? <laughs> so let me show you. There's one. Now these don't necessarily need these little um, circle bits that I've popped on, but I just want to give them some more colour. So I might change my mind. You never know. I just think it's nice. See, for instance, doing that and adding a pop of colour behind them. I'm just playing around the now. Um, maybe a bit of white for this one. Also a good tip for these, if you get a, a piece of 6x6 six six card, um, or, in fact, no, a C6 mat layer, um, punch out loads of circles and then you've got your own little stencil. I've done that before as well, it's quite good. Right, this one, yep, I'm going to just stick this down. Always put the lid back in your glue because if you take a little longer to close it like I do, and really you don't want it overlapping the sides um, because these go in little sleeves, and I'll show you how to um, certain up don't do these, but you can get them on Amazon. Um, standard soft sleeve, and it's like a uh, magazine um, trading card wallets, and they're real good. It just protects them. But usually, I, I like to keep the artist trading cards that I've made. Uh, that I've made. So, right, we're going to give it some dimension. So I think I'll put a. Oh, wait, is it? A dimensional on the back of this one. And pop that. Pop that where? Where should I pop it? Just tuck it under. Sorry, these nails are a bit annoying. Okay, let's glue this one underneath. I'm sorry, I can't see any comments. I hope you're just all watching. I should have put that up there. Yeah, I'm going to pop that one up there. Do do do. Going to pop a dimensional on here. I like using little circles. I just think it gives it a little different look. And 
let's see, a one a half circle in the white. These are good as well if you've got a little stash of, say, um, extra die cuts or things like that. Should I put pink on there? Yeah, I'm going to put pink on there. Um, it's a good way to use up all those little bitties. And these are really nice to receive us happy mail through the post. Okay. Let me see this one. Yep, I need to glue this guy in. Maybe I should use the big circle. Yeah, well. You'll be amazed at how they turn out. Just by pure chance. <laughs> but that's the benefit of um, the Stampin' Up! goodies because they'll coordinate so well with each other that it really takes out a lot of the thought process. Okay, I need this on a dimensional. I'm going to put that beside the little polar bear or the bear. You can make him a polar bear or a bear. It's entirely up to you. Pop that there. Ta -da. Hi, Angela. There we go. He's cute. They're so cute, you don't want to gift them away. <laughs> but if you signed up for this swap, we need to. We need to, we need to. Uh, nope, I'm going to use a bit of the pool party. I can't pick it up. So you could layer it up any old way. You could do half circles here, there, everywhere. I'm just going to focus on putting them around the actual figures. So let me tuck this under ever so slightly. Come on, in you go. Oh, not that far. Not that far. I've lost it. I've lost it. That's because I've got big silly nails on, ladies. There we go little bit of excess glue there but it's absolutely fine right i'm just going to add a dimensional under under her head which will stabilize her like so yeah not too bad angela just happy that i could come on and craft just now Woohoo! so if anyone has a winkum stella which i do however I don't know how much is it. Oh, yeah, this is the full one. So what you can do to add a little bit extra pizzazz is just add some... I don't know if you can see that. I'm not wanting to pop too much out. When it's a new Wink of Stella, don't push it too much. Now, I've done that on purpose um, so that I could lift up a little bit more of the glitter. Just so you can see it better. Let's see if you can see it shining. Maybe not. It's just a good way to add a little bit nice touch. Okay. My tummy is rumbling. So, did you see the news? Hi, Gemma. Hi, Caroline. That I've lost a quarter of a stone since cutting out um, lactose. Well, dairy. So, um... Yeah, I'm a bit chuffed with that. I thought my face was looking a tiny little bit thinner. But then I thought, no, you're maybe just getting used to it. You're still you're still um, overweight. <laughs> uh, let's give this wee guy a glittery book. Sorry, my hands aren't working very good. I hate that when you don't have control. Full control. There, yeah, that's better. I'm too tense, that's what it is. Wow, look at that. My little ballerina. Shoes. See how if you put too much Wink of Stella. Now, I am allergic to glitter. Um, but this stuff is it doesn't doesn't make me actually anything. So look in here. What's the kids outside? That's the thing. Now that it's the summer holidays, everybody's out walking and stuff like that. Right, I'm just going to use the last of this up on this chair. This is beautiful. I used to like glitter, but I would always make a mess with it and then I'd itch like mad, so this one can stay is perfect for me. No, I like it, I like it. Anything else on this need a bit glittering up? Some more noise, a little 
horns. I think that's fine. No, you just simply wipe that off. But I'll do that. I'll do that later. I will do that later. Right, don't need these punches. Let me pop them away. Guys, I have got so much stuff that I need to play with. I've just saw this little punch, the best label punch that goes with the um, Alpha Best set. And I think I've used this once. Tut, 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 tut. Right, let's get some sentimentes. Should I use a stamp set? I'm stamping the coordinating colours. Um, yes, because I want kind of longer. I want a longer sentiment. Oh my goodness, someone's trying to... <laughs> someone's trying to push a scooter and lift their kid with their reins at the same time. <laughs> oh dearie me. Right, you know what I'm actually going to do later on? I am going to fill up some of these. Oh, thank you. I'm going to fill these up with some more um, stamped sections because these are really handy if you um, you need a quick sentiment. Uh, let me see. I like this one that says hello. This nice one is from... What one is this from? I can't remember. But it is current because I did check. I can't remember. But that'll go perfect. As with these ones, let me see if there's any others that I can use though. There's a day to remember. Maybe that could go in that. Uh, you're absolutely amazing. I'm going to use one of these and I'm going to layer it up with black. So that one is going on there. The hello is going on the warhog or warthog or whatever it was it was called. I've forgotten already. And let's find another one for the bear. I think thinking of you would be nice. Thinking of you. And I think it's nice and black. I'm going to leave these out so I do stamp some more. Right, so let's do this. Let's do it, do it, do it. Right, I'm going to pop it. Do you think in the bottom right corner? Do you think I should put it there? I think so. I think that's where it'll best fit. Hopefully you'll agree, guys. There we go. Okay, this one is thinking of you. Now I want it to pop a little bit more, so I think I'll mat it on a little bit of black. Let's see, where's my black cardstock? Let me get a little bit of scrap at the back. Right, okay, let's do this. So let's just stick it on and fussy cut it. Don't forget, guys, we have the bonus days running. If you spend, uh, for every um, for every multiple of 45 spent before postage, you will get a £4.50 voucher to redeem in August. So it's this month only. We also have fresh new stuff on the clearance rack. Yeah, I'll pop that there. Gorgeous. Put some dimensionals on it. We also have online exclusives, which include... Um, as some fantastic Christmas uh, sets. Um, I will be ordering those on PD on Monday once I get back from Ikea. Because I need to take my son through to Edinburgh. I never, never drive to Edinburgh. Well, I've done it a few times, but I just, I hate, I just hate driving to Edinburgh. But I'm, I've got to do it on Monday. And I'm off work, so it'll be fine. So, yeah, we're going to Ikea. Woohoo! Right, this one, I'm going to split it up. I think it's quite nice to do that. So I'll just carefully cut along. Now, I know I've cut a bit of the M off there, but that's fine. I'm going to have to cut this even flusher than I thought. But it's fine because we're going to layer it up onto black. Da, 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 da. 
it's a wee bit on the wonk but that's fine so i'm going to split up these two words we're going to put it onto black and then i'll show you what we'll do with the other one it isn't, isn't it good to just play away quite the thing like because i've got big silly nails on Oh, I thought I had tweezers here, but I don't. That's fine, I'll just risk getting all glowy. So, you are. It doesn't matter if it's wonky. Guess what, today? Feel free to buy me something. Oh, please. If anybody does want anything added to the uh, workshop order on the 17th, just let me know. Sometimes I see people ordering like maybe less than £20 worth, and I think I could have ordered that for you and saved you some shipping. Obviously, bigger orders is, is better um, doing it online yourself because then you get direct to door and you get all the insurance with it. But if it's just for something that maybe £10 or what have you, I could, I could ship it in the nine. Right, okay, so we are going to first have got this. Try to. And see, move the paper, not the scissors. So that is what I'm trying to do. It's not very good at this. Oh, boop. You are amazing. Right. Okay. So, plans for crafting. On, over on my team, uh, Smithy Stampers, aka Team Smithy, we have a monthly challenge on the go and it's to do a oh god I can't remember the name <laughs> it's to do a certain layout of cards so um, I'm going to make that later right now I think I want to add sorry my tummy's rumbling some black around here so I actually have a Stampin' Right black marker just need to watch I don't get it on my yellow nails so i'm just going to add a little border around my god kids are really screaming i don't know what they're doing across here it's been so hot today what about you guys when i got in the car to come home from work it said 26 degrees i was like wow and then it went down to 22 because obviously the car gets a bit hotter than what the actual temperature is. And then it went to 19. So that's really, really warm for Scotland. Right, let's pop these on. So you're absolutely. And I like to put them on at a little angle. And then we'll put this one here. Yeah. I know it's covering our... But it's absolutely fine. Okay, so I want to use dimensionals. So all I'm going to do, I do have the foam strips, but I'm just being lazy and not pulling them out. I'm just going to cut a line off the edge of my dimensional sheet. <gasps> wow, my tummy's really rumbling. I'm going to make myself a three egg omelette once I, uh, oh goodness, these nails! Once I finish the live, oh, I couldn't have long nails all the time. That would just do my head in. Oh dear! If you have trouble picking it off, just get your take your pick tool, jaggy end, and pop it off. Okay, I'm gonna need a bit on here. This can take normal dimensionals or, or mini. So I'll put one in each side. So let me cut a normal one in half. Problem solved if you can't find your small ones, she says. Where there's a well, there is a way. Hi, Janice, how are you? I was just thinking about you not long ago because I was um, putting all my um, chargers back. Somebody's pinched one of my chargers. So I was checking and putting back other cables, etc., in my little jazzle dazzle pot, crochet pot. So, right. Let's get these stuck down. And I was thinking about you. That's strange that um, you've popped on. Do, 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 do. Spooky. 
So, your absolutely amazing. Ta da! Little tip that I like to do when you have the um, black in the background is da -da 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 -da, Wink of Stella. Often when you push, when you push, when you squeeze the Wink of Stella, let's see if there's any left on that block, um, you get quite a bit out of it just from the wet nib itself, so. Wow, I'm getting pains in my back. I really don't know what's going on with my back. There we go. Cute, Janice is saying. So I thought I'd just come on, Janice, and um, make some little artist trading cards. There's no right or wrong way, really, is there? It's just a case of having fun. But I like to look at it as making a, a, mini, a mini card. So... And if you want to do it proper, proper, on the back, I could put Smith's Crafty Creations, Zany Zoo, or Zook 2 Collection, card 1 of 10, if I made 10. And then you date it and stuff. That's just too much extra work, to be honest. <laughs> right. That is them for new talk. Let me see if I can, uh, can zoom in a little bit without... Um... Can you zoom in when you're already in a live? Yes, you can. Woo -hoo. So there is the three little artist trading cards. Very little supplies used. Um, so yeah, give it a wee shot. And remember, if you are in the swap for this um, this current swap, which is the artist trading cards, upload to the group as you get them. That would be great. Um, if you're shopping online, this code will not be in use after Monday night. So if you're shopping between now and Monday evening, this is the code you need to put in. And then I'll be closing that off Monday night. Ordering all the customer goodies off it. So, um, so yeah, I'll just quickly let you see. So this is the first one. It says, hello. Um, I added um, the coordinating colours from these guys using my stamp and blends. Oh, there's a bit of waste paper. Um, just to make it coordinate a little bit more. I added little cute bits to her cheek and then this one is thinking of you so yeah that was today's mate and there is some past artist trading cards um you can actually keep these actually actually it's one of my favorite words you can get dun, 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 wait till i find it where are you where are you you can use i think i will actually start doing that I think I'll start putting them in, you know, these nine pocket wallets. Um, I was keeping a hold of them in case I'd done a, a pocket letter swap. But you know what, it's... Um, I've not done one in ages, so I think I will pop them in there. And again, a pocket swap, you could do just nine artist trading cards and pop them in. And then it's nice as well if you put some freebies in the back like, like some embellishments or some sprinkly stuff um a good way to kind of save money for example if i was sending this away i would put um three then i would add just plain cardstock in these ones um maybe just stamp on them or add um little die cuts or stuff like that um, Hazel got a second-hand football sticker book. Came with foot dog cards. Oh, is that one of the FIFA ones? I'm sure. Um... Oh, might have chucked it out actually. The last time we had a clear out. I'm sure um, my son might have one of them somewhere. I'm going to have to write that down. FIFA book, and I'll know exactly what that means. Thanks for mentioning that, Hazel. I'd... Crikey, I could have been. Um using one of them for ages so thank you so much for coming on like i say these are so cute um i am going to be sending out some random happy mail next week yes oh the panini ones i think you might have one of those ones because they're smaller they're this size i'll have a wee look um yeah i'm going to be trying to send out some happy mail just to 
um, crafty friends on here, etc. next week. Um, not my customer ones because customers will get their thank yous in a couple of weeks. Um, but yeah, so look out for some happy mail. I'd love to send something to everybody, but it's just so expensive. Um, does he want the cards? No, he's um, he's kind of past that stage now, Hazel, but thank you. Um, there was a point, he had a book here, a book there, and then it, and he just lost interest. Just lost interest. He's all about FIFA Online now and digital cards. Absolutely digital, so... Um, yeah, so like I say, don't forget about the offers that's on just now. I've lost the lid for my glue. No, I've lost the glue for my lid. Did you see that? <laughs> I've lost the lid. No, it was the glue I lost for the lid. Um, if you want anything added into my order on, on Monday, let me know. Um, but yeah, I'm going to go just now and I'm going to actually have a look and see if I can find that sticker book. Um, and I'll pop a little photo up in the group, Hazel. Um, to let you know if I did or not and whether it fits or not so okay guys I'll go just now thank you so much for um coming on if you're watching this on replay let me know and because it's going on YouTube soon please subscribe and like and comment thank you have a nice afternoon and thank you so much for your company guys see you later